But the thing with the word retarded is retarded is not like other epithets. It was not a word of hatred. Retarded was the medical definition. It was actually a word born in sensitivity. Because they used to call them, uh, before retarded was the word, uh, doctors would use imbecile or moron. <laughs> this is something a smart fuck at Harvard has labeled the euphemism treadmill. Moron and imbecile were the correct terms for a while. And what happened is we co-opted those words to call our friend when he does something incredibly stupid. <laughs> to the point where it became an insult. So out of sensitivity, they changed the word to retarded. And what happened... <laughs> was we co-opted that word to call our friend when he does something incredibly stupid. So you can keep changing the word, and if you make the new one stick, that's what I'm going to call my friend. Did you just put a metal plate in a microwave? What are you, developmentally disabled? You fucking put a metal plate in a microwave? Who doesn't know that? You can make it as difficult to pronounce and Latin-based and medical-rooted. And if you make it stick, that's the new word I'm going to call my friend when he trips over his own shoelaces. <laughs> ha ha! You just exhibited some of the atlantoaxial instability that is usually associated with the trisomy 21 genetic imbalance. Oh, you fucking loser. And you still have some blogger or a Susan Blackford in the back of the room going, that's not funny. Letter to the editor. My son was born with the trisomy 21 chromosomal imbalance. And if you ever had to raise a child in such a condition, you would show more sensitivity and not use that kind of word, you know, mocking. To this is where she's being thrown out by Chad Shank and my imagination. <laughs> you never 